Happy Friday, everybody. It's Chamber Check-In time. And today I'm so excited to share with the audience a little bit about the Idaho State Historical Society. And today we have Executive Director and State Historic Preservation Officer at the Idaho State Historical Society here in Boise, Idaho, Janet Gallimore. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Easter weekend. Oh my gosh, it's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> hey, thanks for taking some time with me today. I can't wait to start sharing a little bit about the history of the society and some of the programs and events and, and, and all the stuff with you. But first, I want to take this opportunity to share a little bit of um, information about our series sponsor for the Chamber check-ins, Delta Dental. Delta Dental has been a great partner with us for many years, and they do some wonderful things for keeping our community healthy through um, you know, the, the health of your teeth. And I'm gonna show a quick little video. So just hold on one second. Um, here we go. Yeah, it's a weird time, but there's still a lot to smile about. So stay connected with your dentist to make sure your oral health and your overall health remain a priority. Plus, find out what services are available and what options and precautions are in place to protect you and your smile. Thank you, Delta Dental. Um, we really appreciate this partnership. And now, without further ado, I have Janet here. Hey, you know, some of these, this, this is a great opportunity to share a little bit about the history and the story of our chamber member businesses. And what I noticed is that the Idaho State Historical Society has been around uh, about five years longer than the chamber. So um, as we were talking before, Janet, you had mentioned that there are some visionary people back in the 1880s, um, which is very impressive. So, hey, first of all, tell us a little bit about your role and, and your background that led you to this um, role with the Historical Society. Well, thank you, Paul. You know, the Idaho State Historical Society is an extraordinary system of cultural and historic resources made up of the State Museum, the State Archives and Record Center, the State Historic Preservation Office, and historic sites throughout the state, including the old Idaho Penitentiary. And so how I came to be part of this amazing team is um, my first position and my first professional position was the director of the Lake County Museum in the, in the north suburbs of Chicago. And then I ended up being the um, director of cultural resources for that organization, which included a museum, historic sites, a cultural center and what have you. And then um, I was there for 23 years. My husband, Bill Barron moved to the West Coast. And so I followed him and became a consultant for a while to a Lewis and Clark initiative that was under the direction of artist Maya Lin, the Confluence Project. So I got a lot of experiences with our uh, tribes across the Columbia River from uh, Nez Perce all the way to the ocean. And I think that that combination of government experience, uh, multiple uh, portfolio of historic resources and that tribal experience really helped um, me to be prepared for this position that I have today. Wow, um, absolutely. And thanks uh, to moving out to the West. We love having you here. Well, thank you. Um, so the Idaho State Historical Society is something that's been around for a long time, but I recently learned through a conversation with Allison Espindola, one of your teammates, and Deanna Burrell, that, that surprised me. I had no idea that the, the penitentiary, the Idaho State Museum, and, and there's other uh, places that you kind of manage and organize. Tell me about all those different um, sites that people can find archived information about the history of Idaho. Well, it is uh, quite a story, of course. Again, beginning in 1881, the territorial legislature asked the private uh, Pioneer Association of Idaho to chronicle the history of the territory. And out of that, the agency became a state agency in 1907 under Governor Gooding. And at that point, uh, we had the Idaho State Museum as sort of our first department. In the 40s, the Idaho State Archives became part of the agency. 
And then in the 70s, the State Historic Preservation Offices were created across the country in every state and every territory. And then in the, in the 80s, sort of as an outgrowth of the bicentennial of the country, historic sites began to be very popular. So our history of our agency, one of 20 like it in the country, really kind of followed the growth and development of the country over time. That's impressive. Um, you know, I was looking through your website today and what I found really, really cool, and I love old photos, archive photos of downtown Boise and just kind of the history of the ranching community and the old school buildings that you see when you're driving up through Fairfield. I love that stuff. And what I um, kind of got on on your website was archive digital photos of business billboards. How, how does somebody, how do we get those pictures and how long did it take you guys to really take a printed picture and digitize that stuff. Tell me more a little bit about that. Well, the State Archives has remarkable resources. Um, we have about a half a million photos, so that is a pretty tall order. We have a very large collection of microfilmed and now digitized newspapers that we did in partnership with the National Endowment for the Humanities and the Library of Congress. So those are available online, some 300 plus thousand uh, page views of Idaho's newspapers. The archives is also the repository for all of our official government records, like the constitution. So that is amazing, original Lincoln signed documents and what have you. And then we have a, a wealth of, of information through Idaho's maps and water rights records and what have you. So. We decide to digitize pieces based upon um, what we know from our customers is what they're interested in. And so if we have component collections, of course, everyone's very interested in business information, landscape, photography, places around the state, uh, images of the county, images of the state house over time. And so um, there are selections based upon the content that we know what people want but it is just a snapshot of what the public has accessible here. And they're welcome to use these resources by appointment. Um, and, and, and people do everything from kids needing information for school projects to water rights attorneys looking for information because we hold the Snake River Water Rights Adjudication Records, one of the largest collection in the country. Okay, um, very impressive. Hey, a couple of years ago, um, you guys remodeled the Idaho State Museum um, right there across from the zoo, correct? Yes. So are you open now? Can people come in and enjoy the, the, new, uh, the new facility? Absolutely. In fact, we've been open since the middle of the summer, only last summer, at a limited capacity. We are at about 30 to 50 people per hour, um, a little bit less at the State Museum because it's an inside facility, a little bit more at the Old Pen because there's four acres of land there and the experience can be more outside. But the Idaho State Museum is still the newest state museum in the country and we're extremely proud of it. it tells the story of Idaho's people and how people and land have shaped each other over time. And that was done in great partnership with Idaho tribes as well as with focus groups from people from across the state. Tell us what we can experience when we come into the Idaho State Museum now. I noticed that there's some interactive stuff there uh, for educational purposes. Well, it is a completely different experience than our original museum, which is, of course, not to be, and that's not a surprise because that's what people expect now. So it's a great mixture of uh, multimedia and then, of course, traditional exhibitions. We have a beautiful large foyer. People can interact with a map of the state that gives them a sense of the state in its totality, which is very big. An orientation theater that includes tribal stories. And then we've, we have uh, interpreted the state from a geographic point of view. So you can learn about the state from the Salmon River North, the Central Mountainous Region, and then the Snake River Plain. And then we also have special exhibits um, that we can talk about in a little bit, and then family galleries and galleries about Idaho's people. So we're set up for a wide range of learning. You mentioned a couple of other things uh, about some famous astronauts. Um, re remind me and help tell the audience a little bit about that. 
Well, as part of the museum's renovation, we created two special exhibition galleries so we can have uh, new and changing exhibits all of the time. And right now we are featuring Trailblazing Women of Idaho. And that was an exhibit that we designed that was supposed to open in August as part of the commemoration for the 100th anniversary of the right to vote. We just opened it a couple of weeks ago. We've had over a thousand people attend so far. It features 104 women from Idaho's history from Sacagawea all the way to contemporary women who are um, movers and shakers of today, if you will, including Barbara Morgan and um, Ellen Ochoa, who are two astronauts here from Idaho. Hey, that's awesome. It's it's really inspiring. I, I can't wait to bring the family down and check those out. Uh, um, I'm excited. So we're talking about that, do we just come in and pay at the front door? Do we have to make an appointment? Do we go online? Tell, what do we do? Do we have to be a member? You go online and purchase a ticket. Certainly people can walk in, but we're um, we're asking people to please purchase tickets in advance to minimize cash and all of that sort of stuff. So. OK. All right. You know, another good thing, I'm so glad we're talking is, you know, I was talking to a catering company the other day and they decided to rejoin the chamber because, you know, they've been around for 25 plus years and the, the folks that are here and locals know them and use them. But we have such a big migration or, of, of people that are moving here who are new that don't know about our local businesses and especially the history of Idaho. So this is another great opportunity to share a little bit about um, what our society has here that, about our archives um, history um, so that they can you know, get up to speed on, on what Idaho is all about. Well, certainly any of our facilities tell amazing stories. The State Museum tells that whole broad statewide story and it's great for visitors, whether you've been a generational family or a new uh, transplant to Idaho because it gives a broad context. At the State Archives, we feature um, a, an amazing exhibit about Abraham Lincoln and his impact to Idaho. So if people are interested in that story of the, that president, it's great. At the Old Pen, we have a wide range of exhibits. The most recent is called Disturbing Justice, and it talks about the riots at the Old Pen over time. But the Old Pen is a fabulous place for learning about Idaho's territorial story, as well as issues of social justice. And then we're featuring in partnership with the Hummel Architects Company, drawings of the Capitol at the State House through June. So a wide range of activities and we're opening up the Stricker Ranch in um, Twin Falls on June the 5th. So that's another great thing for people to, to take a trip to. Okay, all right. I wanna make sure we covered everything. We talked about, um, oh, hey, what other um, upcoming events or programs are you guys offering right now? So we have all kinds of programming, virtual and on site. Um, the We have a whole lot of events coming up at the Idaho Penitentiary throughout the summer. We've got a, a sleepover if anyone's interested in that. Um, a lot of adult events, paranormal experiences. We do our 30, 13th cell um, art exhibition this summer. So that's available on our website. The Trailblazing Women exhibit is open through the end of November at this point. And then the, the Hummel exhibit again is open until the end of June. So a lot of great things. And then we also have, um, in addition to the Lincoln exhibit at the State Archives, an, an exhibit about the agency's 140th anniversary. So lots of things, lots of activities. People can just check it out on our website. Okay, so we're partying all year long on the 140th anniversary, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. A lot to be excited about. History gives people a sense of place and a sense of their role and their story in the narrative of Idaho. So we have uh, we have fun things for everyone, whether it's young families, scholars, government officials. So um, we're here for all Idahoans. And do you guys offer field trips for schools? We have a lot of field trips at the State Museum and at the Old Pen, and we offer traveling trunks as well as to schools. And wide range of services for members too. We love being, um, we, like, we love building our family of people who love history. So we have family memberships, individual memberships, and that allows people to come into the, our organization for, for no cost and offers other special benefits that folks uh, might love to take advantage of. And that information is also on our website. Awesome. 
Janet, thank you for your time today. Um, it was great to learn a little bit more. And now I've found another plan for the, the family to come down and, and check out the Idaho State Museum. It's, it's been a little while since I've been in there. So I'm excited to get back, back in. Well, perfect. And people can also follow us on social media and um, check out what's happening across all of our departments, including the State Historic Preservation Office. If you want to list your home on the National Register of Historic Places, that's the team of people who will help you do that. Okay, great. Well, again, thank you so much for your partnership with the Chamber for over a decade. It means a lot to us. We And thank you for running such a great organization. And by the way, you've got some great people as well. I think I have the same passion as you uh, for the, the history of the state of Idaho. Well, thank you. And thanks for all that you do for Boise and for Idaho. We appreciate our partnership with you as well. Thanks, Janet. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Happy Easter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it.